So in this uh, session, I am revising the functionalities of sales document types, item category functionalities, and schedule and category functionalities in a single screen. So far, uh, we have seen the complete one by one. So what exactly the functionalities of sales document types, what exactly the functionalities of item categories, and what exactly the schedule and category functionalities. Now, today we are revising this entire thing in a single screen, how the each and every document type associated with the item category and the schedule and category, and how the item category will be determined and how the schedule and category will be determined into the system. So all those things in a single screen we are going to see so that this is this session definitely will help you out in, in at, while attending the interviews. So you can just imagine or rerun this recording so that this will give you the complete picture about the functionalities of sales document types, item categories, and schedule and categories. So SAP has provided a beautiful feature like uh, the architecture of the sales document type is at header level, item level, and schedule and category level. So we have discussed and we have seen that we can control the sales document with reference to the sales document type at header level with reference to the item category at item level. And we can control the schedule lines of the each and every line item which is associated with the sales document type and sales document or sales order. So let us begin this session. Sales documents are the data containers because it contains all the data, all the master data, all the master data will be copied into the sales document types. So be, because sales documents are required to perform the transaction. So once the transaction is completed, this particular transaction will become historical data. So what, what are all the master data will be copied into the sales document type or sales document? We all know that without a customer, there is no business process. So customer master data, material master data, customer material info record conditions master output master so on there are many master data and other other determination procedures also associated with this document type all those will be copied when we create the sales doc, sales order into the in the system so to go to the functionalities of the sales document type the transaction code Vivo V8. This we have seen. And the important table at header level, VBAK. All the header related information will be copied into the, will be captured in the table called VBAK table. Entire header information like uh, who is, what is the sales document type, what is the sales area, and then followed by the master data all the information will be copied into the sales document type and this will be seen in the table called VBAK. So this information, entire information. So please remember sales documents are always called as a data containers as it contains the master data. All the master data will be copied into the sales document and whenever we try to create the sales order. And this data is required to capture the transaction as a proof of transaction. Once the transaction is completed, that will be called as a historical data. So we cannot even change anything. Either we can uh, cancel the invoice or we can uh, uh, we, we cannot adjust also. So we cannot reverse anything. So that is why it is called historical data. Only, uh, again, we have to create one more process. So this is a process like business process. What exactly business process means? It, com it is a complete transaction. The business process means complete transaction. For example, sales order created with respect to sales order delivery created 
with respect to delivery billing is created or invoice is created that means it is uh, complete the transaction is complete that is the otc process so otc that is order to cash process so otc process we have completed one transaction suppose if the business process starts from inquiry followed by quotation and then order delivery billing so that is inquiry to cash and some of the business processes it will start from directly from quotation so like that one business process means one complete transaction is completed with respect to that particular sales document type so in this way the business processes are very very important like uh, uh, sales order delivery billing and returns credit memo free of charge items consignment processes and uh, any document type any different cash sales rush order these are all the different different business processes which once the complete transaction is done that is the business process which is completed so this is about the sales document functionalities and sap has provided one more feature called item category functionalities so we can not only we can control the sales sales order at item level header level we also can control at item level also this is the additional control parameter of the sales document type that means with respect to the item level sales document line item we can control the sales document that means with respect to the pricing shipping inventory and so on so there are, there are many factors shipping point determination or route determination batch determination so these are all the things which we can control at item categories so the the standard item category is tan the directly to go to this transaction to see the item categories we can use the transaction code vob7 so you can go through path also this entire information will be captured in the table called vbap so this entire item category relevant activities or controls and whatever the changes or the attributes are there those attributes will be captured under the table vbap so vbap is the transaction vbap is the uh, table with respect to the uh, item category so that whatever the item category information is there so all this information will be captured into vbap table so this is the with respect to the item line item level so we can control the document not only at header level we also can control at item level so there are different different item categories that that also i'll be showing in the next screen third one schedule line categories so this schedule line categories the standard uh, schedule line category is cp the deterministic mrp so we have seen already the functionalities of cp the deterministic mrp this entire information will be captured in the table called vbep this is very very important table so we, under this table we capture complete information what what is the information so to go to this schedule and category functionalities or controls the transaction code is vob6 schedule lines means customer requested delivery dates and corresponding confirmed quantities so the moment you place an order through any e-commerce portal you will be waiting you will be curious to receive the product at the earliest and what it shows suppose today you are placing the order and by 30th august you will be receiving so that means if they propose in the in the system in the application if it proposes that you will be receiving this particular uh, line item or product on, on 30th you will be eager to see you will be waiting for that and also you will sometimes within expected delivery date you may receive within expected delivery date also it will arrive very soon but but 
the system will promise you to deliver that particular product that is confirmed quantity on 30th. However, it may be delivered before or after. Plus or minus two days or plus or minus five days. Within uh, three, uh, five days of time from the date of uh, out of place, placement, they, they may deliver the goods. So that will be controlled based on the schedule and category functionalities. Very, very important. And schedule lines, each and every sales document line item will have its own schedule lines. Every sales order line item will have its own schedule lines. And schedule lines are the basis to create the delivery document. Please remember this one. So to control the schedule lines, different, different schedule lines. So third party will have its own schedule lines and consignment process will have its own schedule lines. Returns process will have its own schedule lines. And with reference to those schedule lines, we will be controlling the sales document schedule line categories. So that, so what are all the relevant fields are important and field functionalities are important to us as an SD consultant when we attend the interviews. So please, Remember this one, and moreover, the screens, whatever the screens which uh, uh, I'm going to show you in the next uh, couple of minutes, those screens must be always in your mind so that automatically the field functionality will come to you and you can explain very easily without any issues. So in this revision session, we are going to see the functionalities of sales document types standard or OR, and the, the, that information will be captured in the table called VBAK. Item category functionalities, the standard item category TAN. This entire information, item related information and item related attributes will be captured in the table called VBAP. And then the complete schedule and categories like uh, the customer requests, requested delivery dates and their corresponding confirmed quantities will be maintained or will be captured in the table called VPEP table. Please remember, so schedule lines are very, very important parameters whenever there is a standard line item. If there is no line item, there is no schedule lines. It is not relevant for the delivery date, delivery documents, other than the text item or value items or service items. So different, different item categories we have seen. So we have also seen the item category determination. Item category determination. Item category determination is the combination of sales document type or item category group NORM. So based on the material type, the system will automatically propose the item category group during the material master data that we have already seen it. We know already. Usage, it should be blank or based on the transaction, the usage will change. If it is free of charge items, then the usage will become free. Higher level item category is blank. So based on the transaction, this higher level item category will change. Like free of charge items, the higher level item category will become TAN and the standard item will become TAN for the uh, uh, TANN, the standard default item category. In standard, it is TAN. So if it is a free of charge uh, transaction, then Then the sales document type war, yes. Item category group now, yes. Usage will become free. Higher level item category will become TAN and the default item category will become TAN. So this item category determination, we have already seen it. And this will be captured in the table. Very, very important table. This is T184, the table is T184 transaction as table. So in this table, we can see the 
multiple item category determinations with respect to our document type. In real time, so the war may become ZZ war or ZR war, anything based on the client's requirement, we may change the naming convention, but however, the behavior or the attributes of the doc document type will not change. Only the naming conventions will change, but the attributes of the sales document type or attributes of the item categories or schedule and categories will not change. So this is the item category determination. So the transaction code is VOV4. Now, the schedule and category determination. I think it is VOV5 item uh, transaction code. The schedule and category determination is the combination of sales uh, item category plus MRC type. Item category plus MRP type. Item category TAN plus MRP type. MRP type is available in the material master data MRP one view where we can see the item category MRP type as we can select if it is ND or PD based on the transaction and based on the availability check process and based on the materials requirement planning so we can select this one. So then the system will automatically propose the schedule and category. CP or CN. So this is the important points. These are all the important points which you have to remember. In, the, in your mind, automatically, the moment you enter into interview, uh, play interview, interview, the panel, so you, this entire thing should revolve in your mind so that the other uh, screens will also come into the picture and then you will be able to explain in a proper way. So this is the whole uh, uh, concept or theme behind this entire explanation, today's explanation. And let me go to the another screen and then explain you the complete picture. So let me go to the another screen. Yes. So the sales document types, different, different sales document types we have already seen especially the controls parameters, how the control parameters of inquiry, quotation, standard order, cash sales, rush order, and returns. Also, we have seen and we have discussed about the consignment process. So the sales document types, associated item categories, and associated schedule and categories. Three in a single screen. The complete, the architecture of the sales order, sales documents. This is the one which we have to remember. So why I have written this much? So you will at least, if I, if you people go through this entire recording two to three times, then definitely some of the things will be uh, kept in your mind and that it will uh, give you a lot of impact and the functionalities also. So these are very, very important uh, things which I have prepared for you people so that this will help you out during your interview process. For example, the item category determination of the inquiry. So that is like AFN. And its, its corresponding schedule and category is AN. So item category determination means it is the combination of sales document type, item category group, usage, high level item category, and the default item category that is equal to AFN. The similar way, the item category determination is applicable to all the document types and all the item categories. The similar way, schedule and category also will be determined accordingly based on, the, based on your business process and your transaction. The business process is nothing but the complete transaction. So if it is third party scenario, the item category group is BANS in the material master data, where the system will automatically propose the item category as TAS. And then the system will automatically pick up the Schedule and category as CS based on the schedule and category determination. That is item category plus MRP type. 
free of charge this one we have discussed text item value item cash sales and the consignment process consignment fill up consignment issue consignment returns and consignment pickup see the corresponding item categories i have already discussed and the corresponding schedule and categories these are all the very very important things at least if you people are uh, able to remember the cp and for the inquiry and quotation and the third party schedule and category because this is very easy to understand uh, uh, at least uh, explain or remember these item categories but however majority of the people they will face including me they, they will face or they will remember they will try to remember but they won't sometimes there will be a lot of confusion also so that at least if you are able to explain the interview at least five six schedule and categories and associated with item categories and sales document types it's a reverse process or in this process also you can do this sales document types associated with item categories and schedule and categories any one of them you people can explain to your interviewer this is very very important and important transaction codes like vov8 maintain sales order types vov7 say item categories vov6 schedule and categories vov5 schedule and category determination and vov4 is item category determination now we will see in sap system in single screen one by one we will see so let me go to sales documents vo v8 and one more screen i'll open vo v7 item categories one more screen vo v6 schedule and category so cp deterministic mrp and this is item category tin i will take and here the sales document type is or yes now first sales document type what are the important fields so sales document category the classification of sales document type c stand for sales order a stands for inquiry b stands for quotation and c stands for sales order and g stands for contract and h returns so respective sales document type will be associated with this their corresponding sales document category so we, we can classify the sales document types indicator so it is not relevant for the standard orders and other orders it is only relevant for the invoice correction request or k document so that is d invoice correction request sales document block suppose whenever you wanted to block this sales document type for further usage not to use so then we can put the block as x the sales document type is block so then the business will not or we cannot use this sales document type for further processing we have seen the number range systems how the system will determine or propose the internal number range and the external number range by the user this is the one so how the system will propose item number increment the sales document line item whether you wanted to see the multiples of 10 or multiples of 5 or multiples of 20 whatever may be the multiples of item number increment in the sales order that number we can specify over here so sub item increment in the sub item increment based on your main item whether you wanted to keep it as 1 2 3 4 5 of the corresponding sub items so based on that one we can use it so this is very much useful in the bill of materials concept so reference mandatory this one we have discussed so if at all you wanted to 
create the standard order with reference to the quotation or inquiry, then we have to select the option called with reference to a quotation. So that the system will not allow you to create the sales standard order without a quotation is specified over there. So with respect to quotation, you must have to create the sales order. So this is very, very important thing, which we have to remember. This will be like whenever you wanted to do the inquiry, quotation should be created, then the reference is inquiry. Now for the inquiry, there is no reference directly we are going to create, but absolutely this inquiry as well as quotation will not carry any deliveries. Please remember that one. So only the standard order will be eligible to deliver the goods, but whereas the inquiry and quotation are, are not meant for the deliveries. Check division and item division. Suppose check division, whenever the header division is there or not, whenever the header division deviates with the item division, then the system should throw the dialog or error message if it is two. If it is one, it is uh, it will not throw any error. It will throw a dialog or warning message and it will allow you to proceed further. Probability, we have discussed already. So this is like uh, the standard order is always 100% probability that this is a confirmed order which we are going to create in the system. Whereas inquiry, 30% probability to become a sales order. Quotation has got 70% probability to become a sales order. So that is why the standard order is 100% probability for these standard orders. This credit limit and credit group. So whenever the automatic credit control area takes place, so the option is D. So then the credit management and risk management concept will come up and then accordingly the system will block the document for further processing. Unless and until the, the authorized person will come and then um, release the order, we cannot create the delivery document for that sales order. So this is the credit management process and relevant for credit management, same credit group also. Always remember the output application is V1 for sales order, V2 for shipping and V3 for billing. So application V stands for sales, sales and distribution, V1 sales, V2 shipping and V3 is billing. So during the output determination, you will be uh, coming to know this. Material entry type is not required. Item division. So the item division is copied from the material master data. So whenever these two divisions are different, the header division is different and item division is different, that time the system will throw you dialog message. Or you wanted to throw the error, we can choose the option two. This is a read info record. That means customer material info record. The customer material information record will be copied based on the maintenance of the record master data. The same information will be copied into the sales order. And the system gives high priority to the customer material info record that we have seen when we determine the plant. If the plant is maintained at customer material info record, then if it is the plant is not maintained at customer master data and material master data, the system gives high priority to the customer material information record to determine the plant. So it is very, very useful. And it is an interview question also. Check purchase order number. Suppose if you select the option A, check whether the purchase order number already exists. So whenever you are creating a sales order with some purchase order number, the customer purchase order number, suppose 1000 or 2000, whatever it is. And again, that is created and saved. And one more sales order you are creating with the same purchase order number, then the system will throw some warning message or error message so that we can change the purchase order number to the next number. In, in this screen, document pricing procedure, this is one of the prerequisites in pricing procedure determination. So pricing procedure determination is based on the combination of sales area, plus document pricing procedure, plus customer pricing procedure, then the standard pricing procedure, RV001. So this, this will, the entire pricing will be covered in this particular pricing procedure determination. Quotation messages. In this, whenever there are uh, 
the quotations exist for this particular document type. That means with respect to that quotation only, you have to create the sales order. So during that time, the system will pop up. When we create a sales order, the system will pop up. So there are few quotations are available for this line item. Check at item level. So that whether you wanted to utilize the same quotation, yes, you can utilize. Or otherwise, you wanted to create a new sales order, that also that is also possible. You can do that. You can ignore that particular uh, uh, pop-up message, and then you can proceed further. It is similar for outline agreement messages also. In this screen, the status profile is very, very important, which we have already discussed. The status profile means additional control parameters to control the sales document type. Whenever the value exceeds while creating the order, whenever the user creating the order and that order becomes uh, more than the limits, whatever the limits are there, more than the credit limit or more than the order limit, then that time, it will sales order will get blocked and then it will go to the corresponding if the mail will be triggered to the corresponding authorized person and that authorized person will release the uh, order with, by dis with the discussing with the uh, end user and then you will proceed so that is called status profile alternate sales document type suppose in the same sales document type creation during the sales order creation you will be getting the radio buttons so based on that one whether to continue with the same, same sales document type or different sales document type, the user can decide based on the business process and then you can create the sales order. Incomplete messages, this is very, very important field. So if you select this one, unless and until you complete the document, suppose if payment terms are missing in the sales order, then you have to complete that say, payment terms, then only the system will allow you to save the sales order. If you leave it blank, if you don't activate this one, then the system will allow you to edit the document. It will, add, it will allow you to save the document and however, it will uh, add, allow you to edit the document also. Unless and until that value is not there, then you cannot proceed to create the delivery and billing documents because it will be having the error messages. Shipping, you can see here automatically the delivery type is associated with this sales document type, LX, the standard one. In real time, they may create the delivery document type with ZLF and they can add it over here. So that will be there always. Don't think that it is a uh, standard LF here also LF and the, in the business also only the LF. Some of the clients, they use this LF or some of the clients, they won't use it. Delivery block, if at all you wanted to keep any blockage, you can block it. Shipping conditions, this is one of the key parameters in determining the shipping point determination. For cash sales and rush order, the system considers the shipping conditions from the sales document type. So 10 immediately. So this is the one, this option, whatever the option based on the uh, uh, client's requirement, we, we specify the two digit alphanumeric key, so that one will be picked up from the cash, cash sales and rush order. Immediate delivery. So during the cash sales process, the system will automatically create the outbound delivery in the background. So when we select the option called create delivery immediately if quantity confirmed for today. So in all retail, retail outlets in uh, supermarkets, the, they, are, they are having always cash sales only, the cash sales process. In the background, wherever there is SAP implemented uh, uh, supermarkets like DMART, Walmart, Namdaris, Reliance. So in the back end, the system will automatically generate the delivery document. And this is uh, this particular transaction is related to order, order related billing document. So just I'll go to only CS, I'll, I'll just show you cash sales. In this cash sale screen, you can observe immediate delivery option is checked and the delivery type is associated with this cash sales is BV and the shipping conditions. So to determine the express shipping point, the system will capture or consider this field value instead of the customer master data's shipping conditions. It will consider the customer master data shipping conditions will be captured for the shipping point determination of the normal standard orders. Whereas, cash sales as well as rush orders, 
the shipping conditions will be proposed by the system from the sales document type cash sales cs or ro so here the in, uh, incomplete immediate delivery will be there and incomplete message is also checked let me go again to or see here in the billing section delivery related billing type yes all the standards are standard orders are delivery related billing this also in real time based on your client's proposal z z1 f2 z a f2 z b f2 whatever they wanted to give the naming convention and then they wanted to use the four digit alpha numeric key they can utilize that one so but however this particular standard order is relevant for the or type is relevant for the delivery related billing why this is order related will billing is there this is relevant for the third party scenarios so where there is no delivery the third party scenario is nothing but vendor sends goods to the customer and bill to the business so that it will be always order related billing type inter company billing type that is iv so whenever the sales transaction happens between two company codes of the same group then the selling organization belongs to different company code than the delivering client so that in that transaction type the system will consider the billing document type so in the inter company sales the system will propose you two doc, two invoices one is a standard invoice customer invoice another one is a inter company invoice that we will discuss during the inter company sales billing block this is very very important and for the credit memo debit memo as well as returns you can see here what are all the options proposed by the system so check credit memo that means if we can block at header level and 09 credit memo and the same thing 09 will come for returns also so here billing plan type periodic billing as well as milestone billing periodic billing means rental contracts milestone billing is nothing but maintenance constant contracts so these two we can uh, use it for billing plan type which is already which will be uh, associated with the item category also that also we have seen i will show you again so this is a cost condition type this is a statistical one so based on the costing so the cost condition type will be proposed in the sales order and the sales order uh, creation in requested delivery date pricing date purchase order date suppose if at all you wanted to propose lead time in days suppose if you specify the days number of days here seven days then whenever you create a sales order the system will automatically propose the customer requested delivery date as today's date is 23rd and 7 30th august is the customer requested delivery date and the date type whether you wanted to keep it as month or week or posting period anything you wanted to specify you can specify over here but the standard process we won't uh, specify anything no need to specify here and propose delivery date so then the system will automatically propose the delivery date whatever the lead time in days and then 30th august the system will automatically propose whenever you specify this one the, based on the calculation it will propose the delivery date propose po date also it will be also shown in the sales document at header level after the customer purchase order number the system will automatically propose the current date as proposed purchase order date so this is these are all the important field functionalities of the sales document type or now let us go to the item category the functionalities of the item category very very important and we can control the sales document at item level with respect to pricing business item returns or inventory billing plan type everything so we can control at item level so the standard item category is tan in real time it may be changed to ztan so that uh, based on the business processes the all the uh, uh, determination procedures will be adjusted accordingly item type whenever it is blank it is a standard item if it is having some value then the system will treat it as a text item or value item if it is a it is a value item if it is b it is text item please consider that whenever it is there as a blank then it is a standard item item category tan 
completion rule it is one of the important factors whenever we are using the business process with reference to inquiry the quotation should be created and with reference to quotation the sales order should be created so during that time the completion rule so there is a quotation with the quantity 100 and the complete quantity the quotation is reference to sales order then we cannot utilize the same quotation again the same quotation cannot be used again and it will throw an error in the similar way even if the complete quotation is rejected then also we cannot copy the quotation so you can see the same thing whatever i have explained if you go to the help button how it says you can check this see if you want the system to apply the completion rule you must first select the update document flow field and also the, apart from this usage specify that a quotation is complete only after its quantity has been fully referenced by subsequent documents the system uses the completion rule to determine the status of a quotation or a contract that has been referenced by other documents so whenever we are creating with reference to quotation so that time this completion rule is very very important special stock indicator which will be very very useful in the consignment business process like consignment sales w it is customer consignment and uh, make to order process it is orders on hand billing relevance yes the standard items are always relevant for billing whereas the free of charge and text items are not relevant for billing see here delivery related billing document billing plan type it is also having the milestone billing as well as the periodic billing so rental contracts as well as the maintenance contracts so during that time it will be very useful the billing plan type billing block so at line item level not only at header level we can block the uh, debit memo credit memo and returns we also can block the at item level we using the item categories like g2n l2n and ren item categories so check credit memo for the credit memo request and returns check debit memo for the debit memo request pricing yes it is relevant for pricing x is standard pricing and b free pricing for free goods 100% discount sometimes many of the practice systems they may change it from x to b so that the pricing will not be determined into the the standard pr00 pricing will not be determined into the sales order so you will be confused so during that time you have to check this field value again you have to correct it from b to x so that you will not face any kind of issues business item yes this particular standard item is relevant for sales shipping and billing schedule lines are allowed yes this particular standard item is relevant for schedule lines are allowed item relevant for delivery here you can see in the system parallelly i have used the uh, schedule line category also the standard items we no need to check the item relevant delivery item relevant for delivery field because the associated schedule line category is always check item relevant for deliver so that is why we won't check here and the returns field because this is a standard items this is not relevant for returns so whenever the returns item category as ren then that particular item category in the, the this field will be activated that particular items item category is relevant for returns standard item is considered in weight or volume basis so based on the weight also we can calculate or based on the quality quantity or volume also quantity based item that item also we can uh, control so the field credit active is always active at the standard item category so that this particular line item is relevant for the uh, credit management and risk management concept that means we can grant the materials on credit basis so the credit active field must be always activated determine cost is one of the factors very very important uh, factor to determine the vprs cost condition type into the sales order also to calculate the profit margin of the material or line item then the other thing is like automatic batch determination this is one of the key factors to determine the batch determination procedure so this is one of the key factors not the all the other factors so this is not the alone factor by using uh, 
this field we cannot uh, do the batch determination there are few other factors are there based on those factors we can do the item category det uh, batch determination order quantity is equal to 1 so this will be mainly majority of the times uh, when any new product launch especially uh, either through e-commerce portals or any of the uh, direct stores also the, the, if the if at all they wanted to restrict that particular quantity is only one person one quantity eligible so then we have we can activate this field and then we can if you try to create the sales order more than one line one quantity the system will not allow you to proceed further so in this apart from this all these field functionalities of the item categories one more uh, very very important field functionality which will be very useful in the bill of materials item category tap the create delivery group suppose there is a computer we have placed an order an example you have placed an order for computer and the computer as a whole it it will cost you around 70000 or 90000 rupees based on the parameters which you have selected so it is like uh, uh, computer is uh, nothing but uh, monitor keyboard mouse headphones and cpu so with all these factors so the business the the company what wherever you have placed the order they say that the monitor will be delivered tomorrow and uh, cpu will be delivered on sunday and the rest of the items will be next week so will you accept it we won't accept the same thing we wanted to create all the sub items to be uh, uh, formed as a single delivery group and then will be delivered to you on on whatever the date we specify so all the line items all the sub items of the main item like uh, computer computer if you consider it as a main item the others are the other items are sub items so all the items we wanted that a single go then we have to ask them that we have to check the option create delivery group if you won't select this create delivery group option then the system will create different different uh, uh, available dates of the particular line items or particular uh, sub items of the main item so during the bill of materials concept this is very very important factor to uh, consider that one so in the standard item category so the delivery group is very very important you have to explain to your interviewer so what is the significance of the create delivery group field in the item category so they will not tell you the item category name tan so you have to remember that it will be activated in the item category tap that create delivery group for the bill of material item category determination so this is a very very important key functionality in item category tan then we can see the schedule and category the schedule and category will be determined based on the item category tan plus mrp type in the material master data so in this the important fields like delivery block if at all we wanted to block the uh, sales order at line item schedule and level we can use the valid reason to block this delivery based on the credit limits you wanted to block or uh, political reasons or whatever may be the valid reason is there based on those reasons we can specify and then we can block it at the delivery block and then the authorized person this control will go to the other authorized persons and the respective person has to release this block and then only the system will allow you to create the delivery document see movement type so this always i one more thing i would like to highlight here schedule and categories are always into two parts the upper part specifies about the external procurement the lower part specifies about the in house production or internal procurement so movement type means 
physical or logical movement of a material leading to a change in the inventory management so that means we are we are transferring the goods from business to the customer the goods issue delivery the movement type specifies we are delivering the goods to the end customer so based on this movement type the delivery will be created whether that particular delivery is relevant for the, the customer's delivery or the stock transport delivery that will be based on the movement type one that is step one procedure this is a one step procedure and this these two will be two step procedures in the sto process that is stock transport order then item relevant for delivery yes the standard schedule lines are always relevant for delivery only and the order type item category and account assignment category these three fields are relevant for the item cat, uh, schedule and category cs that is third party sales order because in the third party sales order in the back end the system will be created when you create a sales order the purchase requisition will be created in the back end based on the settings here the order type nb order type nb purchase requisition standard and item category so like our standard item category in third party from mm side this is an sdm mm integration part they will select five as a third party item category and account assignment category to control are the postings so the account assignment category for third party sales from mm side is one so based on these three settings you can see in the schedule and category cs see in the cs item uh, schedule and category this entire transaction the schedule and category is relevant for the external procurement because here you can see there is no movement type because we are not delivering the goods the vendor is delivering the goods to the end customer and bill to the business is nothing but third party sales the lower part we are not manufacturing this particular client suppose if this if the purchase requisition delivery is scheduled instead of delivering the goods to the end customer directly through the vendor if the business wants to deliver at our location and again from the business it will go to the customer then we have to select this option purchase requisition delivery schedules and one more field will be like the update schedule lines so whenever you change the value quantities in purchase order that will be reflected in the sales order at schedule lines level so we cannot change any quantities at sales order level if at all addition or subtraction that can be possible only in the purchase order level not at the sales order level during the third party sales process then these three like requirement assembly is nothing but tor transfer of requirements the every line item information will be transferred to mrp materials requirement planning so that if the quantity is not available they will start preparing the manufacturing process and then try to give the finished product to us so with respect to this field activation and availability check so when you select this option the moment you enter the sales order line item the system will check in the background whether the customer ordered material can be available or not as per the customer requested delivery date whether we are able to ship the product or not so this available to check process product allocation so based on the customers uh, based on the priority we will be allocating that particular product first come first basis so this is the field functionality of the product allocation so all the three in a single screen so this is the standard order standard item category and standard schedule line category so all these things it's an architecture of the sales document so we can control at header level we can control at item level and we can control at schedule line category level before going to uh, uh, interviews or before going to explain anything but you must have the 
control on the field functionalities of the each and every document. What happens if I change this field, if I deactivate this field, so that you will be able to understand better. So during your practice, I request you all to proceed on these particular things. So based on this setting, so this will be uh, the important key factor of the each and every uh, document of the sales document types. <clears throat>